So is Ireland going to be man or machine in the new Terminator? What's up everybody? Today I'm here to talk about Terminator and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Do you, who is he going to be playing on this movie? Man or machine? And that has a lot to do with his look. What we know so far is that this is the return of James Cameron to the franchise. You know, we're also the return of uh, the great Sarah Connor, the original Sarah Connor played by Linda Hamilton along with Arnold Schwarzenegger. So the originals are going to be there. We have not heard anything about uh, John Connor, you know, and that would mean Edward Forlong. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that he's been uh, on rehab. And so far, we know nothing about John Connor. Now, I'm super excited about this because I think Terminator 2 is one of my favorite action films of all time. You can check my list. It's definitely there. I absolutely love the Terminator films. After Terminator 2, I think we had movies that had good action, but I did not think that they were what the original Terminator was, 1 and 2, you know? First picture we got was the look of Sarah Connor, and I was super pumped because I think she looks great, you know? I got the feel that she's gonna be the same badass woman. It, it doesn't matter the age that she is right now, you know? She lives in a time that she's always prepared for war because I feel like she, even though it seemed like they destroyed the threat in Terminator 2, I think in the back of her, on the back of her mind, she would always have that fear uh, that she always needs to be prepared for war, you know, especially fighting the machines. And then we got this photo over here. And that photo is what got me a little bit worried because it, it's horrific, okay? It's a terrible picture. They put all these women to try to make them look all great, but the photo is horrible, okay? It looks like a low budget TV show. And this is the first official photo released. Uh, and even though I complained a little bit about this photo on my video, and that's mostly to do because nowadays Hollywood is so worried about representation. And don't get me wrong, I have no problem with representation, but I want good representation. If you're giving me more female char characters that will be anything like Ripley from Aliens or anything like Sarah Connor, I would love that. And I'm pretty sure a lot of the audience would love that too. However, uh, nowadays, what we, we have been experiencing is that people, Hollywood is more worried about representation than the story or even gives an, us a good film. I would have loved to see uh, Arnold in that picture, but we also know that uh, he's been recovering from uh, a surgery. And now there's another photo that uh, came up that uh, he was actually training his own set right now in Budapest shooting uh, the movie as we speak. You now they're working on it right now. So we definitely know that Arnold is back. Arnold seems to be very on board with the story and he thinks that this potentially will bring the franchise forward. So now, uh, is Arnold Schwarzenegger playing man or machine? And that's because we saw his new look. You know, we have a picture of him and that's the picture right here where he's training the new Terminator. Uh, and, uh, well, to be very honest with you, if he were to be playing a, a human person, I'd be a bit disappointed because I want to see him play the Terminator. And the reason why I think that they can get away with the Terminator is because it's a machine and a, with a living tissue that ages. So that would be totally fine. And we see that James Cameron on an interview actually said that someone asked, how do you get away having Arnold now being 71? And his response was, you don't have to get around it. The beauty of it, it is He's a cyborg, and so the org part is on the outside, meaning organism. And Reese says it is in the first film, they sweat, they have bad breath, because they were supposed to be infiltration units. So there's this idea that flesh sort of shreds over a metal endoskeleton. So that would age normally. So obviously he's one that's been in action and operation for a long time. And that's all I want to say about the actual story part of it. So this is what he, it was his response. And his response really leads us to think that Arnold is indeed coming back as a machine. 
But there is another article over here that is posing the question, is Arnold Schwarzenegger man or machine in this movie? This is supposed to be a continuation of Terminator 2, and I hope that that's what they are doing. I hope that they are not just getting away from uh, what Terminator was. One of the things that got me really worried with this first picture with all these ladies over here, so far there was no mention of John Connor, and John Connor has been the big... Uh, a big piece in in the uh, Terminator series because he is the person that would lead the war against the machine, right? So we know that that's the whole point why the Terminator wanted to kill Sarah uh, and the whole point where the Terminator came back to kill John when he was a kid. So if they're running away from that, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about it. So let's see what is this article actually saying over here. I'm not going to read the whole thing, I'm just going to scroll through it, but one of the parts is saying Arnold's role has not been announced. Hamilton reprises her role as Sarah Connor. Reyes will portray Danny Ramos. Davis will portray a soldier assassin. Grace Bonetta as Danny Ramos' brother. Luna is the only official confirmed Terminator in the movie though his series number is unknown. These are the facts. So this is what we know so far. Now, the speculations from the photographs taken on location in Almeria, and here are the photos I'm putting right now as I'm reading this to you. Spain, last month. The movie appears to be uh, set in El Paso, Colorado, in the present day, which also appears to be where the Chuani Mountains base is located nearby. I hope I pronounced this correctly. Some future war scenes has been filmed, likely appearing in the movie's opening moments as with its predecessors. Luna's physicality suggests his Terminator will be a more infiltration capable series than the T-800. While images of Davis suggest her character may also be a Terminator due to the uniforms carry on her arms, chest, neck, and back. So we all know we are definitely... So that's exactly why I didn't panic when I saw the first picture, even though it doesn't look good. Uh, we also know we are going to have the other Terminators there, and it potentially Arnold will be a Terminator too. I hope he'll play a Terminator. How do you feel about it if he's actually a human? The, the, the person, you know, what this, what this article is speculating that this also could be... Uh, that the Terminator is based on this human guy. Let's see what they're saying here. John Connor only appearing as a nine-year-old boy, not ten, as thus far avoided press coverage, despite the character's integral role in the franchise. See, this is what where I get a little bit worried. And he continues, suggesting the character is either in hiding or has been killed off. Man, if John Connor is killed off, I'm not sure, unless it's a very satisfying way that they're going to tell me that, I'm not sure. Because again, uh, John Connor has always been a big part of Terminator. I mean, it could be, I don't know, some, someone commented that this young girl in this picture over here could be John's uh, daughter and she will be the one to lead. But that's, again, that's where the representation is taking over the story, in my opinion, okay? It has nothing to do with women not being able to be badass because you look at Sarah, she was incredible, okay? However, are they really worried about the story or giving us a good film or they're just worried about, oh, let's just change everything, you know? That's where I don't like it because, you know, if you want to give me representation at least do it right you know do it in a way that will be satisfying as well i'm not sure if i'd like if they really completely killed john connor off but let's see what else they're saying aside from john connor's part in the movie the biggest mystery surrounds schwarzenegger return the action movie legend recently joined filming in budapest with his trademark terminator haircut and a beard the latter of which some YouTubers believe it's evident that Arnold will be portraying the human character the T-800 was based upon. Yeah, I'd like to think not because I want to see him as a machine, but we also need to remember that he completely was submerged on that thing, you know, at the end of Terminator 2, remember that? Uh, so potentially he's no more, so... There is some truth to that, so I totally think it might happen. It could, he could be human. But if he's human, uh, that means they might potentially kill him off. And that's the kind of thing I'm not ready to see it. You know, I don't want to. We all know that this is going to be a passing the torch kind of film. 
Uh, but do we really need to see these beloved characters die in order to pass the, ch the torch? I beg to differ, you know, maybe they go, I don't know, have him go retire on an island somewhere, but not, I don't want to see them die. I don't want to see Sarah die, and I don't want to see uh, Arnold's character dying either, okay? Even though they're passing the, ch the torch, that's fine. And we also know that they're trying to, potentially if this movie does well, they will be making more. So perhaps it's just really passing the torch and they'll, they'll still appear in future films, but in smaller roles. So if that's what they're going for, I'm okay with it. Because again, uh, Arnold is 71, you know, uh, and uh, how much longer is, does he want to be doing this? I don't know. But yeah, I don't want to see him die. I really don't. And, and the same thing with Sarah. I also not, don't think I'd be happy with if they come with the story that John Connor uh, is killed off because if, that would be just no. Let's see what else they're saying. Although the following is a pure, purely speculation, it's my belief that Iron will be again portraying a Terminator and possibly a villainous one at that. Here is why. Oh, so this article actually think he's coming back as a villain this time. That would be very interesting because so far we have seen him just play the good guy after the original, right? Well, scrolling down the article, pretty much what they're saying that he thinks that Arnold is actually playing a Terminator because uh, first it's saying no Terminators have been shown with facial hair. Uh, if they were incapable of growing such, all the human resistance would need to do is have all men grow beards and mustache and thus eliminate the need to feed the dogs they use to identify the Terminators. That's so true, right? Save what little food supplies they have. Of course, if Skynet is capable of applying living human tissue to the metal and those skeletons animating liquid metal and mastering time travel, surely it would be aware that humans male grow facial hair. To that end, and with many believing an Iron Baby portraying the human upon which the T-800 was based upon, it is my belief that Arnold's role will be a speculated, possibly also a long-time member of the human resistance, General Perry maybe, before being revealed to be a Terminator all along. This would marry both Arnold's perceived portrayal as the Terminator with Cameron's original vision. So this guy has a very interesting idea, you know, whoever wrote this. I don't think his name is in here or her name, right? Gavin is a guy. Uh, so I, I really think his speculation is really cool that at first we will see this guy and he would seem to be human, but at the end he'll be revealed to be a Terminator. That would be a way to probably bring him back because we all know he died after Terminator 2. But you know what? As long, again, uh, this it, it looks really good. We all know that he's been, in this picture over here, he's been training the new Terminator over there. So I don't know. I'm going with the idea that he's definitely coming back as a Terminator. But I love that this guy said, perhaps he will, people are going to think that he's a human, but in fact, he's a Terminator all along. That would be a great twist, right? So what do you think about all of this? Do you think that he's playing a machine? Do you think he's coming back as a T-800 all along? Do you think it will be a good Terminator or the bad Terminator this time? I would love to hear your opinion on all of this. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Bye.